Grammy YouTubers, this is Lady Grave Dancer and I am in the vehicle again and today I'm going to do the um, 10, is it personal questions tag? I think it's 10 personal questions tag. I've seen everybody doing it and I thought it was really cool. I don't think I was actually tagged personally to do this one like I was the other tag video but I'm still going to do it anyway. And I'm going to tag every last one of you guys that is watching because I'm, because I'm driving I'm just going to answer the questions. And when I edit the video, I will um, type the questions in like I did on the last tag video. Get out of my way! Driving and doing tag videos. Hell yeah. All right. So, question number uno. I think that the only thing that would probably be a bit embarrassing in my practice is when I'm doing the nude work. I don't feel the need to let anybody other than my husband see my naked body. So I think that would be, um, actually I know that would be embarrassing. I've always been intrigued with like these naked pagan retreats, but I just know that it's not something that I'd be able to do with myself. So. Okay, a big majority of rituals that I do by myself, I'm doing in the nude. So it is a big part, being naked is a big part of my practice. Question numero dos. I've discussed this in other videos and again this is my opinion so you know I'm sure that I'll still get a little bit of black backlash but it kind of happens whenever you have a certain amount of people following you and I don't know why I'm getting sidetracked but no I don't feel like um, for me a witch is someone who practices witchcraft so if you don't actually do spells and things like that I don't feel that you are a witch but then that's just what I feel does that make it the gospel no not at all I know people who feel like they are a witch have never cast a spell in their in their days and that's perfectly fine if that's you feel like you're a witch then hey more power to you but in my opinion no if you don't cast spells if you don't do any kind of spell work rituals things and the effect that would involve magic then I don't feel that you are a witch but I'm not going to downplay you let me go ahead and add this now. I'm not going to argue with you and say, hey, you're not a witch. If you say you're a witch, then you're a witch. You know, I I just, in my opinion, I wouldn't call myself. How about that? It's better. In my opinion, I wouldn't call myself a witch if I didn't do spell work. If I didn't practice a craft, then I don't feel that I would be a witch. That would be better. Maybe. Number three. Um, my opinion is still the same with that. If I didn't do spell work, if I didn't practice magic, then I wouldn't consider myself a witch even if I read every single book that there was. Just my opinion. Next question! Yes, um... <coughs> I have. I, I can just either leave it at yes I have or I can get in detail but I do have some old videos where I explain how I practice a type of magic that wasn't just where it seemed bad because I was doing it to protect my family I used to really fuck with people with my magic and I am not very proud of that but it is an addictive time and that is still something that I from time to time do struggle with not doing when people piss me off so yeah, that would be during that time. Question number five. Ooh, that sounded like an orgasm. <laughs> I have a friend who tells me I am a smart ass that plays the dumb ass role. And the reason why he calls me that is because when I'm around people who have to be right, and explain that without sounding like an asshole. I probably can't. When I'm around people that like to talk, 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 and they have to be right, and you know they have to be right, there's really no point of arguing with them. I don't. I just sit back and listen and act like I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. And if, um, oh, don't run into me. In, in. Just for instance, kind of like, um, if I'm having a conversation 
and I'm wearing a red shirt, but the person's telling me that it's orange. If there is no point of arguing with them, that their opinion is going to be orange and I can't change it, I play dumb and I'm, I just sit back and listen and just like whatever. It's not like I agree with them, but I just don't argue with them. So I'm the smart ass that plays the dumb ass in certain situations. And I do it. I, I've been to, um, for instance, the fellowship. I'll be at the fellowship and there's a lot of people there who have read a lot of books and but they have no experience in the things that they're preaching and I know that they don't because you can tell the difference with someone who's read it and someone who's done it and <laughs> I, I don't say anything I just sit back and play dumb and if they ask me for my opinion I'll just say I, I don't know you know I no point you know there's no point in it and that's how I feel number six <laughs> I think it's one of, I think it's I think it just goes together so I don't see where it's separate oh is that a cat no I hate when I see dead animals on the road I, I, I know a lot of people are, are saying they're like intertwined and stuff like that I agree it, it's kind of like braided together to make the perfect braid it it just goes together so I don't see where it crosses or separates number six both absolutely because um brenda actually explained that in much oh, what was i saying oh uh yeah brenda she she covered that pretty well where she you know was explaining about how the statues is symbolic and you know if you haven't checked out her video you need to go check it out brenda crozier if i remember when i'm editing i will um put the link in the description box so, my opinion is both. So, where are we at? Number eight. I do believe that you can, and I don't really want to get into a big conversation with this. I mean, I think the only one that I kind of have an opinion that you can't might be atheist, because, you know, what, what do you believe? Um, okay, keep walking. You're welcome. Keep on walking. Don't get hit by my car. And there's just too much um, controversy going on right now about um, Christian witches and things like that. I just, in my opinion is, I'm just going to say yes and leave it at that. I've made a video in the past uh, um, that you can look up on my channel about Christian witches. So that could kind of give you my opinion about that. Numero nueve. Okay, number nine. No, um, I can't say that I have, not for myself. Now, I have been in situations where I've done workings with other people where I was afraid for them. And I'm talking more of cleansings and, and spirit work because y'all know how I feel. I feel that spirits can be dangerous the other side can be dangerous if it's not dealt with properly I know a lot of people don't agree but it's my opinion because of my own personal experiences and that's just that so for myself no but I have been in situations where I was afraid for other people number 10 oh this was so much fun and I'm already on the last one number 10 I would have to say no because I reach for the freaking mountains and even if I set my goal somewhere and I haven't succeeded yet I know that one day I will so no mm -mm. reach for the mountain reach for the sky that's how I see it never underestimate yourself and never never say never <laughs> alright guys that's it for this tag I tag every single one of you who is watching this I had so much fun watching the last tag videos I tagged a lot of I mean I tagged everybody of course who watched the video but um a lot of people sent me the videos and I was able to watch them and it was so much fun. So, yeah. I tag all of you who is watching. And I am going to do a new husband and wife tag. And we're going to be doing a son and mother tag as well. And I think that's going to be posted on my son's channel. So, stay tuned for that. And I will see y'all at the next video. And as always, blessed be you guys.